So let's bring in uh, David Stroud. He's chief executive officer of TS Capital Partners. That is a hedge fund that specializes in commodities. David, good to see you. It's nice to see you, Julie. Thanks nice to be here. For, thanks for coming in. Let's talk about gold first because obviously this has been a hot topic, rising to a record earlier this week. Now people selling off a little bit. The margin requirements for gold went up. It seems like the CME is trying to, to squelch the move. Before that happened, though, before that happened, this is from a practitioner's standpoint, this is very interesting. We started watching the volume of gold. I have uh, something that I look at on my screen every day, and I noticed about 10 days ago, gold was trading at about eight times its normal volume for the past three months. Then the next day, it did the same thing. And there then we the have the same chart of the volume continuing you can to go see, higher you can and see higher where it's the continuing to move higher and higher and higher. And on about the 10th day, that's when the equity correction happened. So there was a bit of a warning there in the gold market as, it cont as people continue to get in there and buy gold and push the price up. So in other words, people should watch not just the price, but the volume of investors getting into gold. If they're trying to not only see what's going to happen in gold, but perhaps it has some predictive power for the equity markets as well. Very important. I think the commodity space period and the gold right there, as is, is we can see, was an, was, uh, an incredibly accurate indicator of, of a stock market decline because I don't think we, we're going back and making sure that this is valid, but I don't think that gold has had that much volume over that period of time. And after, after that level of volume, of course, the exchanges raise the margin requirements. So that's essentially how much you have to hold in an account that's correct. In order to, to buy gold. That's right. But here, here's the difference between gold and silver. If you want to buy one contract of gold, you have to have $7,000 of money down in an account. If you want to buy one contract of silver, you've got to have $22,000 down. Why, why is there that discrepancy? Two reasons. For liquidity and volatility. Go up. Is it, gold is, uh, well, let me say it like this. Silver is twice as risky as gold and it offers about a third of the liquidity that gold has. So, for, you know, for that very reason, you're going to have higher, you're going to have a higher margin requirement for silver. And what that does, it keeps, and it's, it's probably a good thing the exchanges are doing. We talk about the negative things that, that people are doing. Let's talk about something positive that the exchanges are doing. By raising those requirements, they keep people out of those markets that probably should not be in those markets. If you've got $30,000, you shouldn't buy one silver contract. And, and hold that as an investment. Now, you could make a lot of money, but you could wipe your entire investment out in a span of 30 minutes. So, in, in other words, people panicking, turning to gold in the recent days without fully understanding the, the gold market. That's the I, risk. I, I think so. And I think what, what's happening is the larger gold ETFs, they're expecting, and, and this, this may be something to consider, uh, and this could be somewhat bearish for the market, uh, we've, we, we have assumed, I think at this point, that the sell-off in equities has been resigned just to this week. We don't know what's coming up next week, but that amount of gold being bought, it seems to me what the gold ETFs, what the large holders of gold are saying is, hey, we're going to have more investors in here because we're going to have money bailing out of the equity markets. Therefore, we're going to continue to go in and buy gold. So we've seen gold now pulling back for a couple of days. It's not a huge pullback, but, you know, biggest that we've seen in a little while. Are you guys adding at this point? What we're going to do, because they raised margin requirements this week, it'll be, I'm not sure how long it'll take, but I feel like they'll raise those margin requirements again. Uh, gold should sell off, and then we're going to be buyers of gold. We like silver better. And we like, uh, we, we think right now, given the do, given what's going on in the equity markets and the headache that everybody's having on Friday, I know everybody's, everybody's ready for this week to be over, but uh, that plays very well to our space, which is a commodity space, because people do want to own gold, silver. So why silver over gold right now? Uh, silver, if you, if you look at inflation, if you look at gold and silver from an inflation-adjusted standpoint, gold is pretty close to this inflation-adjusted high. It's relatively close to it, but it's within striking distance. Silver is still 60% below its inflation-adjusted high. And so you think it has more room to go? I think it has more room to go because it, 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 uh, it also has more practical uses. It's, it's always skirted the line between It sort of has industrial uses industrial as well. Industrial and precious metals. But doesn't that then assume, you know, it's not just a hedge against things sort of blowing up, but doesn't that also assume that you're going to have some economic growth perhaps and that 
there's going to be industrial needs for it, and there's been, there's a lot of concern about that right now. There is a lot of concern about that. Uh, I, th I, th I personally think, and this is what got me into the commodity markets, was was to look to look at that because I always felt like you could see what would happen in the equity market by looking at what's happening in the commodities market because because it is the first product. It is the first product. Mm -hmm. uh, Archer Daniels Midland before uh, before they use corn, it, it has to be grown, and it, you have to look at it from the commodity standpoint. Uh, oil, um, all, of those, all of those commodities tie into what the economy does. Mm -hmm. So that's, that, that, that's, yet to be, that's yet to be determined. Okay. And it, that's, that's yet to be determined. I guess that's the best way to, okay. best way well, to say it. Okay, well, TBD, we'll have you back on, and we can talk about the, the moves <laughs> in the coming weeks. So we'll talk to you again soon. David Stroud of TS Capital, thanks a lot for coming in. Nice, Good to, talk nice to, to you. be here.